Hey everyone, it's Mr. Zulicious here and welcome to another quick stream tip video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add and install plugins to your OBS Studio installation. So I'm sorry Streamlabs OBS users, but this video is not for you. Now if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get a notification anytime a new video is being put up. Now without further ado, let's roll the intro so I can show you how it's done. In itself, OBS Studio is already a pretty advanced program that lets you do multiple things. But if you want to expand on those capabilities, there's a library of plugins that are mostly free to use on the OBS website that you can download and install to your setup. And these plugins allow you to do more advanced things like scene to scene transitions or adding closed captionings and way more. Now in order to install a plugin, you first need to find the one that you want to use. So go to the site linked in the description down below and search for a plugin that you want to add to your installation. For this video, I'm going to use the Move Installation plugin, but the way of installing them is mostly the same for basically every plugin that you will find. Now, if you found the plugin that you want to use, make sure that you download the version for your operating system and then you get a zip file. Within that, you get two folders and in the case of this plugin, a automatic installer. Now we're going to ignore that because we're going to do things the manual way because otherwise we're not going to learn anything after all, right? And you know, we're kind of cool like that. Next up, you want to locate your OBS installation folder, which you can usually find on the C drive in the program files folder. If you found it, open it and there you will also see two folders that are the same as in the zip file you just downloaded. OBS plugins and data. Now in order to install the plugin, all you have to do is unzip the zip file into this OBS folder and making sure that you combine the contents of your zip file with the folder on your hard drive. And basically you unpack everything that was in the OBS plugins folder and in the data folder of your zip file and install it onto your hard drive and therefore onto your OBS installation. Does that make sense? Once you've done that, basically all that you have to do is go to your OBS and see if the plugin was added to your system. Now the way that you can see if the plugin works is different per plugin. So go to the download page and read the manual or the description over there to see what the plugin will normally show you when it's activated. Some plugins you will be able to find in the tools menu in OBS. Others will add a new source to your installation. So make sure that you know what to look for. And there you have it, installing plugins to OBS has never been easier and it's actually fairly simple if you know what you have to do. Now if this video was helpful to you, please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you get a notification anytime a new video is being put up. If you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos that I've made, I stream every Monday, Tuesday and Friday over on Twitch, you will find the link down here and in the description. Or if you want, you can find me over on Twitter or you can join my Discord and ask any questions that you may have over there. For now, all that is left for me to say is my name is Mr. Drewlicious, happy streaming, Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Give us all the balls! I want balls. Big balls. Giant balls. Blue balls. Wait. No, I don't want blue balls. That's... Nope. That's what she said. Yeah, no, I, I don't want blue balls. That was my bad.